Okay, this is the last uh, of our little series on how to use the event manager. Uh, we've already been through how to create an event category and how to set up a new location for your event. Now we'll uh, set up a, a new event from scratch. So just into the event manager there. You can see we've already got a couple here. You could edit them or you could duplicate them and edit the duplicates to create similar events if that's what you wanted to do but right now we'll just create a new one from scratch okay so our events gonna be called the Internet Success Seminar we're gonna leave it as open so that people can come in and sign up closed cancelled and full obviously people can't sign up to these rescheduled is um, just means you've moved the date we pop this checkbox, put a tick in there so that people are notified when that happens. Um, our event's going to be at the end of the month at approximately 1 o'clock. Uh, it's going to finish on the same day, approximately 2 hours later. So that's pretty easy to set up. We'll pop, pop in 20 people for the maximum attendance. You could leave that as zero or empty, like it says here if that's what you wanted to do for unlimited numbers of people. Um, just a quick little short description or a blurb. Um, then we've got our full description here. And down the bottom here you can enter any terms and conditions you might have for the event. Uh, as always with uh, all these Joomla things so far you can style it using all the all the editor buttons and insert images and that kind of thing um, moving back up the top here we've got access settings public for anyone registered for only registered users are allowed to use our site uh, use this see this uh, particular event we always want to publish our event unless there's something drastically gone wrong. Group registration, we want more than one person to be able to register at a time, so that's a yes. Location, we've already set that up. Uh, category, we've already set that up in a previous video as well. Registration, enabling registration, yes. Um, notify registered users about this event. You can let them know, say, a couple of days before. Oop, where did we go? There we go. Select which form they have to fill out. Um, the days from which they can actually register. So the start of the month until right up till the day before. And then our event tickets we can set up. Say we had floor seats and seal, uh, and back seats. We'll create the first set, floor seats, so $100 a pop, 10% tax, and our description here. We add that, beautiful, floor seats are added, and say we had that, the back seats as well, they're not as good, so we'll make them 80, still 10% tax. There we go, add that, that's saved, everything looks good from here, save our event, and we're done. We can just quickly check the front end. There's our seminar right there. Beautiful.